What's up everybody, Mr. Amira here, and today we have another download and install video for software. Today we're going to look at Amazon Coretto 11, our JDK that we will be using for our projects. And just like the Git video, this is downloading and installing Amazon Coretto on a Mac. If you need the Windows video, separate video will be linked right now for Windows people to click on and go to. This is strictly for Mac. So we're starting here on Google and we're just going to search Amazon Coretto. If I can spell it correctly, it looks like I did this time. I think I misspelled it in the Windows video. Anyways, we're going to click on the AWS link. The first link that comes up there takes us to a nice website here. We're going to download Amazon Coretto 11. It's the latest LTS version. So we want that version there. It's going to launch a new page. Now on this page, we're going to scroll down a little bit here. We could do these other things, but we don't really need to worry about that. We're looking for this table. This table starts with platform and it has Linux up here. Now this table might not look like it has everything on it. And in fact, it doesn't unless I zoom out or I can get this table to scroll if I'm on here, but I want to zoom out a little bit so I can see a little more on this table, but this table allows me to scroll and I'm going to scroll down here. Mac OS is near the bottom. So let me just find it here. There it is. So Mac OS, there's only one option for Mac OS. And I want to click on the one that's PKG. So the very first column download link, the very first link under Mac OS here, the PKG one, make sure you're selecting the right version, Mac OS JDK.PKG. Click on that to download it, save it. It's going in my downloads folder. It might take a moment or two to actually download there. Looks good. I'm going to click to open it. And if we have a similar, we didn't have a similar issue where we needed to hit open like we did for the Git one. So we're just going to walk through here. We're going to go through install, type in your admin password, install the software, writing files, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully it doesn't take too long here. It doesn't look like it will. Done. And that's it. We are good to go. Next video is going to be downloading and installing IntelliJ on your own macbook again this stuff is if you have your own computer your own macbook not a special one uh, where you don't know the admin password you need to have access to that admin password for these install videos so i'm going to link that intellij video right now and until then everybody have a week